Hi there! Thanks for joining us for this short tutorial. Now let's talk the basics of using EBSCO. In this video, you will learn the basics of working with EBSCO, which includes searching for materials, viewing articles, sending results and citations from EBSCO host to your email, and finding help online. But first, what is EBSCO host? EBSCO host is an online research platform that gives students access to different databases and articles from publications, including peer-reviewed journals. The library provides access and help for OCCC students and faculty. Now that we know what EBSCO host is, let's get to searching. To access the platform, first head to the library's website, www.occc.edu slash library. From the library's homepage, locate the Start Your Search box, then click on the Articles tab. Under the Articles tab, click on the EBSCO host link. At this point, you may need to log into the library's website if you are off campus. Just use your OCCC email and password to do so. After logging in, you will see a list of different databases with the database name and description. For this video, we'll be using Masterfile and Academic Search, which are the first two at the top of the list. These cover a wide variety of topics and are great when starting an assignment. When you move further into your degree program, you may need more specific databases. You'll be able to find this by scrolling down this list. To choose a database, click on the checkbox next to the title. You can choose multiple databases to search or just one at a time. When you've completed your selection, click Continue at the top or the bottom of the database list. You will see a search bar that functions similarly to the ones you find on Google, Netflix, or Amazon. However, since we are working with a database, we will need to ask a research question. For this tutorial, our research question is, does playing Dungeons and Dragons impact our mental health? Unfortunately, we can't enter a question into the search bar. If we did, EBSCO host would look for every single word in that sentence. So let's break this down into search terms. From our question, the things we need to find in the articles are Dungeons and Dragons and mental health. When you're ready, begin typing your first search term into the search bar. When we start typing our search terms, EBSCO host will make a suggestion, just like Google or Amazon. However, not all their suggestions are helpful. Even though it's suggesting this, Dungeons and Dragons on mental health, this is not the best term to use, as EBSCO host will look for all those words together. So we will need to choose something else. A great one to use is this, Dungeons and Dragons or D&D &D or Dungeons and Dragons and for some dragons. This will capture many of our synonyms. There are a few others we could use from this list, but right now let's focus on just this one game. After entering our search terms, our search bar should look a little bit like this. Our first term, Dungeons and Dragons, is in the first line. And then our second term, Mental Health, is on the second. You can add additional filters at this point, but let's go ahead, but let's go ahead and hit search for now. Let's take a look at the results we've gotten with these search terms so far. EBSCO host has brought us back 105 articles that we can review. In our results, you can see we have both academic journals and periodicals. If we had too many or too few results, we could add or adjust our search terms in the search bars. We can also add additional filters in the refine results column on the left side of the screen. A helpful one to use is the peer-reviewed checkbox. Many of your instructors will want you to use peer-reviewed sources. This filter will limit your results to those who have been marked as a peer-reviewed journal. Now let's take a look at one of these articles. This is Defeating Dragons and Demons, Consumers' Perspectives on Mental Health Recovery in Role-Playing Games. This is our first result and our terms appear in the subject terms and author supplied keywords. If you ever get stuck when searching, these are great places to find additional search terms. On the left-hand side of the screen, we can find out how quickly we can get access to this article. For this one, we see the request this via interlibrary loan icon. 
This means that OCCC does not currently have access to this article. However, the library works with other institutions across the state, country, and world to get students access to the materials they need. By clicking on this icon, you will be directed to our interlibrary loan form. It may take a couple of days to complete your request, so start searching early so you can get the perfect article you need for your assignment. If we look at another article from our results, Role Play Games for Mental Health, Why Not? Role for Initiative, we can see that this is the third article in our list. Our search terms are in the keywords, and we can also see the abstract. Abstracts can be helpful in knowing what's going to be inside each article without having to read the entire thing first. Most articles will have them, though you may need to scroll down a bit to reach them. On the left-hand side, we can see a different icon than what we saw last time. We can now see the PDF full text icon. You may also see a similar one that says HTML full text. What this means is we have immediate access to this article, and you can access them just by clicking on that link. Since we've now found an article you can access, let's learn how to get this sent to your inbox or find a citation. You have access to several helpful tools on the right-hand side of your screen. The first is the permalink. By clicking on this, you will generate a direct link to the article record. We recommend using this link instead of the URL you'll find at the top of the screen. You can copy and paste this generated link into a message to yourself. An even more helpful tool to use is the email tool. By clicking on this link, you will see this prompt. All you will need to do is enter your email address, select your needed style guide, and click the send button. EBSCO will then send you all the information, including a link or sometimes a PDF of the article you were looking at. It will be sent directly to your email inbox. Another handy tool you'll find is the cite tool. If all you need is the citation, this can be a lot faster than emailing it to yourself. This tool will generate a list of preliminary citations for you to use. Just scroll down the list until you find the correct style guide for your assignment. Sometimes research can be daunting. Let's talk about how to get help online when you need it. Using the library chat feature on the library's website, you can talk to a librarian in real time Monday through Friday when the library is open. You can connect with us either on the library homepage or wherever you see this chat bubble. If you don't have time to sit with us, you can always use the email librarian form. You can submit a ticket at any time and have a response sent to your OCCC email inbox. You can expect to hear from us within one business day, although sometimes holidays and breaks will slow down our response time. You can find the form linked on our Contact Us page, or quite often you'll also find it linked within your Moodle course. In this video, you learn the basics of working with EBSCO, which includes searching for materials, viewing articles, sending results to yourself, and finding help online. Thanks for watching. Visit our website for more help and resources.